Okie dokie, now let's roughly lay in our little man on the table here. So let's just go ahead and make a rough little helmet that he's going to be wearing. So I'm going to select my sphere. I'm going to draw out a sphere here. And we can always scale it later. Of course, it's a little big right now. So let's go ahead and scale it down. Looks pretty good right there, I guess. So let's go ahead and let's do this thing we did last time. Go to polygon mode and let's select all these polygons here on the bottom. And let's shift up arrow to expand our selection. And let's delete them. Now I'm going to select these here in the front like this. And I'm going to delete those. Select it. Run the thicken tool on this bad boy. Now we got us a little helmet. It don't have to be perfect because it's not going to be really seen that much. Let's go to edges. Let's delete those edges. Let's select this middle polygon. Let's bevel it in. And this is going to be our little spout that our wire is going to connect to. Like so. So let's go ahead and run our loop slices around through there. Like so. Okay, now let's select this and let's rotate it. Like so. And let's translate it down. Like so. Now we have our little helmet in place. So let's go ahead and let's hide our light. So it won't be in my way. But it would help if I got the helmet out, wouldn't it? I'm going to cut that out. Let's go to a new mesh and paste it. There we go. So let's go ahead and even this up a little bit. Now let's get us a cube and I'm just going to draw out a flat plane like this. That like so. And that looks okay. So let's go ahead and rotate it. Up at an angle. And we can move it down. Like so. Okay. Now let's go ahead and mesh edit to the mesh edit tab. Let's axis slice this. And I'm going to slice it up like this right here. 4 and Y and 4 and Z and 0 and X. Okay. So let's go to our vert mode here. And let's select these verts here. Right down on this side. And we'll do down this way too. that. I'm going to hit the W key and we want to make sure our action center is on local and we're going to push these down. Like so. That's looking okay. So now let's go ahead and polygon mode and let's up this just a little bit. Try to even it up some. Okay. Let's go back to our vert mode. Let's grab these out verts here. And I'm going to pull them down. Like so. Now let's grab these verts. Let's pull them down. 
now I'm going to go to polygon mode. I'm going to subdivide this. So now let's go back to our vert mode. And let's just work on this a little bit here. Pull that down. Like so. Like that. Let's go ahead and just adjust some of these points. Just kind of wrinkle up the blanket, you know, like there's somebody underneath there. Now let's go ahead and run a loop slice, 50%, right down the middle of these bottom polygons. Okay. I'm going to take these vertices right here in the middle. I'm going to pull them up like there's feet underneath there. See that? So now we've got our blanket roughly laid in there. Okay. Now let's go ahead and turn everything back on. And let's run a wire from here. So let's go back to our basic tab, grab our tube tool. Let's grab, let's plant a wire right there. And let's make sure our little dot is in the right spot and it's way off. This is why you shouldn't build things in perspective mode. Okay, now I think we got it right in there like that. Let's go to our model quad view. Find out where we're at here. Then we can come straight down with it. Make it a little curvy. Now let's go ahead and connect this in here. Like so. Now we have our cable going from there. Let's see here. Let's make all of our wireframe the same. Okay, now we have our cables going down from there to our guy. We got our blanket on him. Let's go ahead and just mess up this cover a little more. Like so. Let's go ahead. We want to grab some edges here. I'm going to pull them down. Like so. Okay. Now, there is that. In our next video, since, let's see here, we need, I'm going to go in off camera and adjust this blanket just a little bit. Not a big deal. I don't want people to be able to see what's in there, but this is going to this is for a still shot. So the angle of the camera isn't going to be back around here. Now, if you was going to animate this and use this scene in an animation, you'd want to make sure you go in and put a circle. You could grab a sphere and put a sphere inside this helmet to make it look like there's something under there, just a basic sphere, you know. But I'm not going to do that here. This is you all can do all that stuff. Okay. Now, looks like we're just about done. The only thing we got left to do is build our straps. And that won't take but a jiffy to build the straps across there. All you do is just use a polygon tool and just run your polygons across. And um, we'll see you then.